so I'm really excited today. I'm going to be doing a Birch Box unboxing video. And I actually have two boxes because I used a code when I got my subscription. It gave me an extra box. So I was originally going to wait until I got my um, July Birch Box and Ipsy boxes. But since I have two right now, I'm just going to do them now and then I'll do another video when I get my other boxes. So, my first box is cute. It looks like this. And first I have a facial oil. So it looks like this. It's a um, La Piece. Truly natural balancing facial oil. So you just apply a couple drops morning and night and and it balances your skin apparently. So I'm not really a huge fan of putting oils on my faces because my skin can get really oily, but I will definitely give it a try. I'm kind of interested to see um, if it makes my face really oily or if it actually does balance out what my face feels like. The second product I got is a shampoo for coarse or frizzy hair. Um, it is Love Shampoo and it says lovely smoothing shampoo for coarse or frizzy hair shampoo with olive extract. So I don't know, we'll see. It's like kind of a purpley color. It smells a little weird, but it doesn't smell bad, just not really what I'm used to my shampoo smelling like, I guess. And I also got the conditioner for that. So I don't know, I'll have to try them out and see. Then I got the Model Co. Lip Enhancer. So, oh, it is wrapped up real quick. Let's undo that so I can show you guys. It's a lip liner. It's kind of, um, so it's this color here looks like that. So I'm not going to put it on now because I actually have lip product on, but it feels very creamy. It's a very pretty color. And it basically says it's supposed to enhance shape and contour lips to give um, a fuller, natural looking lip shape. So that's kind of cool. I'm excited to try that out. I don't have a lot of lip liners, so I think it'll be interesting to try. Then I got an Amica Nourishing Mask. It's just white. It smells pretty good. Oh, it's for your hair. So it conditions and repairs hair, and apparently it's supposed to work on all hair types. So I don't really know. I haven't. I'll probably save that until I. Uh, dye my hair again because my hair isn't too bad right now. So we'll see. My last product I got in this box is um, a sampler blush and highlighter palette from Coastal Scents. It's um, samplers from their blush and bronzer palette. So this is what it is, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Both of those are very pretty. I'll swatch them real quick so we can see what they actually look like on. Ooh, the blush is very pigmented, so we'll see. But they're actually very, both very pretty. This is the highlighter here and this is the blush, so I think they're both very pretty colors. So that is box one. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty interesting box. I don't really veer away from my hair stuff, so I'm kind of interested to try those and see how I like them. So here's my second box. This is the um, actual uh, June box. So that one was my extra box. This is the actual June box, I guess. In my last box, I got the um, Amica Amica um, hair mask, and in this one, I got dry shampoo from the same brand. So this retails for $24 for the full size, 
and um, again it says you can use it on all hair types so that'll be interesting I actually really like dry shampoo so we'll see I'm definitely gonna try that one out and see how it is then I got a Kula um, light medium organic BB cream so let's see if it will actually match my skin color I really, really like uh, BB creams, so I'm interested to try this out because I, I really like them. Oh yeah, this will this will be perfect. It's just translucent. You can't see anything. It smells really, really nice. Um, so I'm interested in trying that out. Um, it retails for $54 for the full size. This is a Vasanti Brighten Up uh, Face Rejuvenator. So this is what it looks like. It says, dramatically improves your skin's texture to reveal softer, brighter, and younger looking skin. So um, it's an exfoliating mask apparently. Seriously? My cat just knocked over the drawers in my closet, so that would be a fun mess to pick up. <laughs> um, so, smells good. That's interesting. I like um, face masks a lot, which this isn't exactly a face mask, it's just a cleanser, but um, I think it'll be an interesting try. It says that it is good for all skin types, so it should work. Next, I got a Mellow Cosmetics Liquid Lip Paint. I'm trying to open it here. Oh, there we go. It looks like, here's the color. It looks like a very pretty nude color. Um, let's swatch it real quick so we can see what it actually looks like on. It's very dark, so, but it is nude, so I think it'll work okay. Here's what it looks like. This one right here. It's very pretty, it is a little dark, but I'm kind of excited to try it. It retails for $14 for the full size, and it is apparently um, a matte finish. The last thing I have is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, I actually already, ah, actually already used this, so, um, I know how it works, I really like it, um, it's actually my daily primer, so that'll be also a very nice, um, addition for when I travel so I don't have to bring my full size. So, overall, I think both of my boxes were fairly, um, nice, I have a ton of new products to try out, um, so I'm excited, uh. I think that it's a good good set of boxes here and a good set of samples. So, if you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know if there's anything you want to see in the future in the comments down below.